Treasury of Commerce. And what is the role of the campaign and communication document? Uh, well, the primary function is to serve as a communication tool between the, uh, the UCD and the students um, to organise campaigns for the benefit of students, um, to keep class reps um, doing their job and make sure they go to council to organise class rep training, to promote uh, the positions of class rep and then to promote the availability of uh, SPAC positions. Um, well, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm a regular student who believes that the, one of the biggest problems facing the students' union is communication. And as someone who's in final year commerce, I think I'm perfectly set to, to, to fulfill that role well. Um, three reasons um, is what I'm, what, what I'm all about, really. Approachability, professionalism, and accountability. And there are three things I think the union really needs approachable. Um, with the ideas I put forward in manifesto, YouTube videos every two weeks, and a table on campus every week, handing out cups of tea. I believe that it's it's too late for the union to send out emails. I, I really, really get upset the fact that you see so many people in the union send out emails, come in and talk to me, hop by for a chat, call me anytime. You know what I mean? Like come, come out to this event. Students just they they, they 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 they're lazy in that regard. They don't come down to things as much as they should. So I believe that we should have a more proactive approach and go out to them, set up a public table on campus where you can be seen. You know, offering cups of tea, so if they have any advice, any questions, and if they want to know anything about the services the union offers, then I'm there for them. Then professional, I'm a third year commerce graduate, I'm going into a communications job after this, you know, that's that's where my future lies, it's in media, it's in communications, and it's in marketing. So I, I, I believe that... What makes my course suitable? Yeah, you said that... Um, Well, being a commerce student, um, I'm regularly giving, uh, working in part groups of teams. I'm working on modules in marketing, um, business strategy, business plans. Um, uh, you know, I'm doing a module online editing and publishing of digital media. And considering I'm going to be the person who's building a new website if elected, I think someone who has a, a, a degree like that behind them with that kind of experience can help um, in the role. Okay. Um, so then the final thing is uh, accountability. I'll publish all my accounts. I'll strive for um, the publication of a proper budget in 2012 13. I mean, it, I'm, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a budget for 2000 and uh, there's a budget for 2010 11. And I had a read of it there back in, would have been October. I mean, there, there's no figure in it for um, shops. And they list the Bureau as having a, a 15,000 euro gain. And even after that, the entire budget comes up as a deficit. So, like, with with procedures in place like that, with that kind of accountability, there's obviously going to be, you know, the million euro in debt amassed. It's 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 just something that I'm really really passionate about, like, you know, bringing in more accountability financially. Um, and and, and there are the reasons why I think people should vote for me. Um, Tony, how do you feel that this year's communications campaign communications officer has performed? Um, well, I mean, I I work in in Central in UCD, and if someone came into me and said, how do you think that guy over there is working or whatever? I'd say, well, all I have is to judge on what I see. But like, for people that are working with him the whole year round, um, I've, I've, I've talked to people that have worked with him the whole year round, and, and they don't think his promise was up to par. From what I've seen, um, with you know his, his promises in the manifesto to revolutionise the way the union communicates with you, it simply didn't happen. Um, in November, I got so frustrated with the 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 sort of laid back approach he took to it, and you know all this coming and talk to me, and here's my email address and. He even ran a full page ad with um, a college newspaper um, to the extent that email campaigns at UCSU.ie if you want to get involved. I mean, like, I'd say he got about three or four emails there and he wasted an entire page that could have been put to so much more better purposes, for example, advertising the use of the welfare fund. Um, so for that reason, I, I don't think he did as good a job as he should have. And I'm delighted to see the new constitution coming in, which will make people like the previous officer more accountable. Um, when, when, when they slip up and as well as that from talking to class reps um, they don't feel that his reports to council um, were up to scratch and a lot of time he's, he's, he's given them as read and a lot of the, if you read the, the wording of it, a lot of it I'm delighted to be working on continuous projects and I'm seeing a lot of them true and there's, there's no real you know, effect coming through and even something as simple as he promised to change the colour of the website hasn't happened the website at the minute is in absolute tatters, it's a joke I mean, it's it's a joke. Like, I mean, 
um, at the minute myself and my team are working on just a simple model of a website to build to prove that it can be done in a short time frame um, and simple things like that would, would I believe benefit the students because they need to know things about like student services, they need to know unit finances and they need to know um, campus activity as well. So those, those three things will be on my website if elected, it's guaranteed. Do you believe the UCDSU should remain affiliated with the USI? I'll be perfectly honest, right? Um, I look, I've, I've looked at the budget. One sixth of our budget goes to USI. Like that is phenomenal. And at the same time, when you want to run a campaign, you have to fork out forty-five grand or twenty grand to get people to go to just pay the buses and t-shirts to a march. On top of the hundred and twenty-five, and this is as per the two thousand and ten eleven budget. March not cost something in nine or two thousand this year. Yeah, but the there was a previous one. Yeah, but this, in this oh yeah, well in last November it would have been it was I think it was about twenty thousand. But the the the, the I think we need to be talking about ten thousand, isn't it? Okay, well but not just to argue but yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, the USI affiliation. I'm actually um I'm sure there was more than me, but in October, November I put forward I sent Pat Bruin um an email to the effect that I think we should have referendum on USI every three years um, and obviously that's something that I'm really passionate about because the fact is from going around res from Canvas and myself before this people don't know what USI stands for let alone what it does and it contributes one sixth of our budget I, I guarantee you if you asked 100 students around campus whether more money goes on Sabats or USI they'd say Sabats in fact it's USI so for that reason I think that we should have um, a, a, a big campaign to inform students of what the USI is so that then they can make the decision. What's your own personal status? Personal status, um, I, I, I don't see any reason for being affiliated with it. So I, I wouldn't be affiliated with it. Um, Do you think you'd be able to run a national demonstration on the same scale without USI funds? Um, going for campaign association? Well, personally, I know I could get a lot more people out um, to a campaign from UCD. I mean, without USI, you know, you have DCU and UL, you know, there's, they're not affiliated with USI, but like, you know, some of them still went to the march. Yeah. So I think I could get people out, yeah. It's, it's all about, you know, getting people involved and getting them passionate about the ideas. The fact is, a lot of students in UCI just don't care about the union. They don't, they don't see any reason for it. That's one of the big things I just, I really want to change. Uh, what is your stance on Fees. Um, well, you know, bef bef before uh, the before the student contribution fee went up to the level it's at now, I think you know it was maybe just about people were just about able to, to spend you know fifteen hundred on the registration fee. Um, you know, like even my own parents were just able to get that. But then it's like going up by five hundred, and now it's going up by two fifty, and it's getting to that level that it's it's almost you know stopping people from getting to college. So for that reason, I would be um, interested in uh, changing the union's policy on that and putting it to referendum by holding a policy referendum, um, which there I believe is going to be one. So do you have what is mm -hmm. your personal stance on it? Like what would what? Are you for the education? Um, would you be interested in looking at the graduate tax scheme as well? Um, I think everyone should be allowed to go to college and if the only way to do that is to introduce a graduate tax or a student loan system then then I'd be for that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not sustainable to have free education for everyone because we have an IMF deal that uh, you know we're so far in debt it's just not going to happen so I think that there's going to have to be a, a graduate tax something that affects a student loan system like you have in America. What would you be looking for change um, in the organisation of campaigns you're currently asking for that particular issue? I, I don't really understand your question. You mean if as an alternative to a fight fees campaign? As an alternative to just the or market market market. where everyone's the same colour t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. What, what would your that's, be, uh, that's what idea the regular, be? The Do you have anything that would set you aside from other candidates and their ideas? Well, this doesn't require any of this. Would you be looking to hold another market? 
Well, like it, it, it depends on, on what the union's policy is come, come September, mm -hmm. because there's another policy referendum coming up. Yeah. So, like it's 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 up to me to, to campaign for what the students, you know, vote on. And so it's up to me to maintain the policy. But in fairness, you said colleges would still need to the public unless they continue to cut that. We will be in even deeper trouble. So will you not like I don't know demonstrate at some capacity? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at at the minute. College grants have gone down by five percent, and the 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 president Hugh Brady is looking not at them. Um, you know, he, he he thinks free free education isn't sustainable. So there obviously has to be a demonstration. Um, but how would you run it? You mean how would I run a demonstration? Yeah. Well, like, what would you do? Is it not just all right? We got the bus and go to town. Um. Well, you know, if 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 you want to. Cause an, an effective media campaign, you have to get members of the media involved. So look at channels of communications via, like, say, Twitter. And um, if you can get uh, celebrities to in, endorse it, then it will make national headlines. Um, if you release press releases, um, and if you stage demonstrations and use effective media management, you know, for example, get the papers down and get the television crews down and publicise what you're doing. All you need is say one or two hundred people outside the law and the camera crew and it can be extremely effective. Um, so, you know, big big marches are very costly and you can run viral a viral video campaign can cost a hundred euro and can be you know reach a million viewers. <laughs>